Hey there, this is Wake Angel 2001 getting some in front of the camera time. Um, <clears throat> this is for anybody that wants to commission me because uh, even to this day, despite the disclaimer and all that, I'm still getting people who ask obvious questions in the comments and those who kind of like, uh, you know, break certain rules of decorum. So, uh, for an easy reference for all of you, I'm going to give a nice, succinct explanation of how the basics of this works. Uh, the first thing is contacting. I have an email, which you, was actually visible in the disclaimer at the beginning of this video. You can go back and look at it to, to you know, see what it is. Uh, it's it's commissionwakeangel2001 at gmail.com. Uh, how, exactly how it's spelled in the disclaimer. Um, that's a personal email that I set up specifically for contacts for commissioners. Um, the reason being because the... Uh, the personal message system on YouTube is unreliable. So, <clears throat> you know, like pe people would send me personal messages and I wouldn't get alerts to them. So the email is there because, you know, that's a, that's a very well set up system that I can be guaranteed to get, you know, to get it. And then I could reply to you. Um, of course, I do have my art galleries such as on DeviantArt. And those places have much more reliable personal message systems, so uh, you know you can send me, you, you can contact me there as well, and uh, that that works too. Um, also, it's email. It's not a text message. I don't receive an immediate alert that I've received it, so it might take a day or so because I only check my email about once or twice a day, so it might take a day or so to get a response. Do not spam me over and over again like, like, did you get my message? Did you get my message? How come you're not replying? Are you mad at me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, like, like I've had people do that. It's not, a, it's not an immediate alert. And, um, and need I remind you all, this is my cell phone, okay? I don't have a smartphone. This does not receive my emails. So I'm not going to be able to reply to you right away. But I promise, every time I see a new email, I do reply to it. I promise. As of right now, I still only get maybe four at the most per day. I'm not that famous yet. All right. Um, that being said, you must stay in contact. Um, it can take several months for me to actually make your custom figure. This is because I'm a one-man operation. I make things by hand. And, um, and, you know, like, I need to... And, and I, I make them one at a time, is what I'm trying to get at. So, because of this, um, you need to leave me with a, with a concrete way to actually be able to contact you. If you're giving me your email, then that has to be an email that you check, that you have regular access to. If you're contacting me through a site, then you have to be, you have to visit that site regularly. It can't be something that you only check once every couple of months or so. Um, and what, what else did I say? Uh, and if you change your contact information, the last thing you need to do is contact me with it and say, you will no longer be able to reach me this way, now you can reach me this way. So it's very important that we stay in contact in order for me to make a toy for you. Um, the third thing is the fee. This hasn't changed in years. I do not charge a lot. I'm just some amateur guy uh, trying to make his hobby pay for itself. I'm not, I'm not a big professional toy maker. Uh, the fee is only $20. It's not that much. But you do need to either pay for or provide a base toy. Um, so that's going to be an X factor. I cannot tell you how much the base toy is going to cost because that has to do with market value. Like, um, like... Like you could, you might, you might only be able to find a brand new Minton box Amy Rose figure on Toy Wiz for eighty dollars, or someone could have one listed on eBay for ten bucks because it's slightly used. I don't know. It's gonna, it's gonna change and vary. So the only thing I can guarantee you is that you have to pay the twenty dollar fee for me to customize it, and of course the shipping fee for sending it to you. Um, domestic shipping within the U.S. for one or two figures has pretty reliably been about four bucks. Um, but international shipping is going to vary wildly, and I won't be able to know how much that is until I weigh it. 
Um, and yes, if your figure is particularly heavy, it's going to cost more. So like, you know, like a single Sonic figure is going to cost less to ship than a Death Egg robot. So, yeah. Uh, or unless you actually want me to make a big complex scratch build like a Death Egg robot, I charge $50 for those because it is a very involved build with proprietary parts that I have to go get. So, you know, not... So, yeah, that, that that's a different situation. Um... Oh yeah, if you want one of my little mini keychain things, those, those little mini figures that I make, um, you can you can get, this is a work in progress when I haven't made its head yet, you can get these little things by donating to my Patreon, or you can just directly buy one from me for 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, like, it, it's, a ten, it's a $10 Patreon tier reward, but if all you want is this one, is one mini figure for yourself, then just, you know, pay me directly 10 bucks. Um... And uh, the payments are pr they have to be done securely. Uh, the preferred method is PayPal. I have a PayPal. Anybody with a bank account can get a PayPal. It's very easy to set up. There's no fees for it. Well, you know, there's no there's no membership fees for it. <clears throat> and uh, it's it's secure and fast and easy. Um, if you cannot get a PayPal, like you don't have a bank account or you're a kid then you can pay me by mail with a check or money order. Uh, it has to be a check or money order. You cannot mail cash. I have told people many times that they cannot send me money in the mail because it is not safe to send money in the mail. Money is untraceable. There's no way to know who it's intended to go for. And not everybody who works in the Postal Service is entirely trustworthy. If they have an inkling that there's an envelope full of money, someone along the chain is going to open it and steal it. How do I know this? It has happened twice. Two people, at least, have ignored my warnings and tried to pay me by sending money in the mail. One time, I never got anything. And the second time, they actually had the audacity to send me the opened, empty envelope. So, yeah. Do not try to mail money. That is folly. Alright. Next, this is a judgment-free zone. My YouTube channel is not a place where you're going to where you're going to mess with people. I know this is the internet. The internet is a weird place. A lot of people have opinions and and everyone is free to express them. And I will express my opinions as well. If I personally dislike a character, I'm gonna say it. However, this is not a place where you can abuse people for their opinions or proclivities. I will never negatively judge you for what you want me to make, and if other people do so in the comments, I will erase those. If they're, if they're directly intended to be rude or hateful, then they have no place here. Like, this is a place where I want you to feel free to ask me for whatever you want, and don't ever let anyone tell you that you're weird for wanting it, because this is... This is part of your passion, you know, be true to yourself, folks. But I do need a reference, okay? Um, if you want me to make a character, that character has to exist in a picture. Like, a full body picture, from the head to the feet. Um, you can't just tell me that it looks like this person, but in this color and with this spine pattern. No, I will not work from just a description. I'm not... I'm not a police sketch artist. You have to actually, you have to actually have a picture. Now, I'm not telling you to be Mozart. Mozart was a musician. I'm not telling you to be Rembrandt. You don't have to be a fantastic artist. It just needs to be a basic reference so that I know what modifications to the action figure I need to do. You know, like it could, like if a. Uh, if your character is just going to look like, say, a Marvel Legends figure, but he's wearing a different superhero costume, then you don't need to be, like, the great face artist who can, who can draw a photorealistic image of a person's face. I just need to see the basic planes of the costume so I know what lines to paint and what colors to do. And the reference has to be color, okay? Because action figures are in color. So... It, unless you want me to make you a black and white action figure, then your character has to be colored. Um, hopefully that's not too much to ask. And um, sending a picture, like, that's what the internet is for. I've had a lot of people say, how do I send you the picture? Like, 
Like, dude, it's the internet. Like, you have an email. You can take, a, you can scan, or even use a digital camera to take a picture of your picture of your drawing or whatever, and you can email it to me directly, or you can post it anywhere. Facebook, as long as your Facebook is public. Um, a DeviantArt gallery, which is free to set up and free to have. Um, image Shack, you know, anywhere. Post it online. Link me to the picture. It's very simple to share pictures on the internet because that's basically what the internet is made for. You know, like, if my grandmother can post pictures of her family on her Facebook account, then you can figure out how to send me a picture of your fan character. And speaking of fan characters, there's one more part of internet decorum that you have to respect. Um, <clears throat> now, technically what I do is fan art. If you want me to make an official character from a comic book or a video game or cartoon or something, I can do that. Um, I don't charge a lot of money. So far, I have not been challenged for copyright in anything that I do. Like, if I tried to mass produce a Princess Sally action figure, then I'm pretty sure I might catch Sega's attention, but I'm just a guy who's, who's making things by hand, individually, and everybody pretty much accepts that this is pa a passion project. I'm not, I'm not trying to make a whole ton of money off of someone else's work, so, you know, no copyright people have ever come after me. And if you want me to make your fan character, fine! It's your fan character, it's your creation, you're giving me permission to make it. <clears throat> but you're giving me permission. That means if you want me to make someone else's fan character, it has to be okay with them. You need to make sure that you have permission from that person to make their fan character. Now, if now if you're making it if you're having me make it for them like it's a gift, then okay, I can see that being justified as being kept secret from them. But, like, I've had people ask me a couple times to make them an SNT figure, you know, because she's so special. Well, one thing that's not special is, this, is, um, is the rules of internet decorum. <clears throat> you need to be sure that the person who created that character is okay with me making a toy of their character to give to someone else for my personal profit. Like, you know, they, they might want a royalty fee. Like, like, no, I do not want you to make a, a, a figure of my fan character. I do not like that. Or, you can make a figure of my fan character, but I need to get, I need you to give me this, the, you know, a, a certain fee to do it. You know, like, like, I don't know, that might be their requirement. Like, but, but the important thing is that they need to be okay with it. Like, like, oh sure, anyone can make a toy of my fan character, I'm fine with that. Or, or like, uh, you can make my fan character for five bucks. You know, like, that, that, that's them. You know, that, that's something you have to settle with them. You know, like, that, that's pretty much non-negotiable. Like, you can't make someone's fan character into a toy against their will. I won't do that. Alright, so that's pretty much all the basic rules. If there's anything, if there's anything still that you don't understand, you can ask in the comments below. Um, but, yeah, assen essentially, um, oh, well, one thing I didn't mention, absolutely positively do not put your personal information in the comments this is all very important proprietary stuff that must be kept secret between the two of us i have had people post their personal home addresses their names and one time even a credit card number in the credits in, in the comments section i erase them as soon as i discover them but i don't get alerted to every single um, comment that I get because you know YouTube's not entirely reliable on that so so you know like if your personal information is out there and your identity ends up getting stolen that's on you so yeah all this personal stuff is kept between us that is the most important thing I really should have covered that way back in the beginning when I was talking about how to contact but yeah that's how that goes all right, so um, this has been Wake Angel 2001, and we'll have regular toy custom videos back very soon. See you guys next time.